Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Yes, it's a little bit frio here in Spain. Um, yes, I think they are preparing me for the ski area where it's even more frio. So we went from Mexico 30 degrees to Portugal 20 degrees to Spain now 10 degrees and then to the ski area probably zero degrees guys. Um, a short TA update for this beautiful Saturday morning. Just looking into the charts quickly what Bitcoin is doing but also sharing two models that you should be um, watching on uh, now and then because they are uh, telling you when the market is ready to buy up Bitcoin and uh, now, now let's quickly jump into the chat. This is the first one. Um, this is the one hour chart. On the one hour chart, you can see uh, that the BAM BAM indicator, of course, <laughs> called that beautiful long. Um, in between, in the one hour, we had some more shorts and longs, but we kept acting above the yellow stepping line, eh? around the yellow stepping line. Now this short closed down below the yellow stepping line, and we had a BAM BAM crossing downwards as well. And if we look at the bottom uh, chart, we have the red line on top and there is a lot of yellowish. But we can also see greenish starting again. So this is like a very doubtful situation to trade. Um, I would set it out because the Bollinger Band, the blue area, is becoming thin again. It's not that white. And the moment that that happens, it's, Bitcoin is going to break out, but it can take some time. Like, let's see, the, the previous part was over here. So that was like uh, the 22nd at 1 till all the way at midnight, uh, till the next day, almost 12, 24 hours before it broke out to the downside. So now we are again forming this, this band that is not like really wide and that indicates that Bitcoin is going to make a big move. I hope the move will be to the upside. And that we will be breaking the 40k, uh, but nobody knows. We can only uh, see what the charts are telling us. And then now, at the moment, we see a short on the one hour. Of course, when you zoom out, which is way more important, in the four hours, we are still in this long. So the long is over there. We are still in profit. There is no short flag yet. But you can see that the top of the Bollinger Band is together with the resistance here of 4600, 4300. Uh, that will be a difficult area to break. But, you know, it's weekend. You never know. In the weekend, um, always be aware of the CME closing on Friday, opening on Sunday at 6. Uh, the price that we closed at, that's probably also the price that we will visit again on Sunday. I will check in a minute what price that was. Over here, uh, the CME, the last one, uh, closed at 39,000 US dollar. So at the moment we are $630 above it. Um, probably Sunday evening, 6 o'clock, we are again around that $39,000. Uh, so in a weekend we can be a little bit volatile, um, but at the end, you know, we will always um, touch that level mostly on the Sunday evening again. Now, zoom out a little bit on the day chart, we can see the same. We can see that level over here of 38. Um, and we broke that um, resistance and now it will become support and we go for the next level and it's at 41,000 US dollar uh, level that we need to break. Why these levels? Because if you zoom out and you look to the left, there was support there. It should have been support, but it broke. Here it was support there. This week was support. So this is an important level um, that Bitcoin needs to break to become even more bullish. Is this possible? Yes, because RSI is only at 43. We can even go to 90. Uh, so yeah, there is a lot of upward movement possible. Now, two more charts. Here, the Bitcoin Myopin multiple. This one is indicating um, the following. You can read it all on Wubble.com. No, that's not a promotion. I just love how uh, this website works with all the charts. But the Myopin multiple is calculated by dividing the Bitcoin price by the 200 day moving average. How I use this chart is if, if you look to the level of the Maya multiple and it comes below 0 0.8, we are now at a level of uh, I think 0 0.756. Every time we come below the 0 0.8 level is an awesome moment to buy. Just look back in history. Look to the left. The last time that happened here, here we were at the same level. That's like just before the huge bull run in 2017. And then here again, we were at the same level here. That was before the run to 14K. And here again, we were at the same level. 
that was before this huge bull run in 2020 to 60k and here again we were at the same level and that was again from 30k to 60k and now again we are at that same level so for me this is an ultimate buy the dip moment and that's what the myo multiple is telling me by the dip now then there is another one the mr uh, the MVRV, sorry, um, this one showing you the same. How is this calculated? Is the ratio calculated by dividing the network value, so the market cap, by the realized cap? So it's useful for getting a sense of when the exchange traded price is below the fair value, and it's also quite useful for spotting market tops and bottoms. So where are we? This here, level 3.7, that was the market top at the moment, just like it was the market top in 2018, 2014, 2013. Every time around those 3.7 to 4.8 levels, these are the market tops. So, of course, the level uh, was 6 here in 2014, and it was a little bit lower, 4.8, and here again, maybe a little bit lower, 3.9. Um, but that's an indication when to get out of the market. Now, the bottoms here, 1.5 levels, these again are the moments to start the buying the dip. Just check, the last time you hit that level, 1.54, that was just before that huge run from 30k to 60k. Before that, again, that huge run from 8k to 60k. And that's how you can go back. Yes, we can fall lower, even to the 0 0.79 levels, but at the moment, if you look at the chart, you can see this is the low, 0.7 this is 0 0.852 and this is 1.4 so we have a trend going up so the same trend we saw here from the bottom in 2015 all the way to the top in 2017 you can see the trend going up so this could be again that trend going up so we should be going higher and maybe even reaching these levels of 4.8 and then this for 3.6 level that we see here in 2018 is what we saw over here so that is what we will get when we see a blow off top okay now that was everything for today short video i hope you really enjoyed the short video if you did enjoy it give the video a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment also i want to wish you an amazing weekend always remember also in the weekends to zoom out in bitcoin and try to zoom in at life don't freak out on every minute change in the charts but freak out to enjoy every minute of the day thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again bam